Okay, it's finally here, the Boho Office Basic Line Standing Desk. In this video, I'm going to show you what's inside the box. We're going to have a look at how this thing assembles and I'm going to give you a review. But before we get started, a general word about standing desks. I'm working as a software developer and in my free time, I'm doing these YouTube videos, I'm doing music. So that means I'm sitting a lot and I'm starting to notice back pains. I'm starting to notice that I really miss the ability to stand up. At my workplace, I had already three different standing desks and I've wanted one for myself for a long time now. And now I finally pulled the trigger and ordered one. The Boho Office Basic Line Standing Desk is just a frame, so it's not including the tabletop. Still, to me, it's really interesting that these boxes are relatively small. It's almost unbelievable that a whole desk frame is inside these two very little boxes. But they are very heavy. <laughs> of course, that really doesn't translate through video, but they are heavy. So let's open it up. Boxes inside of boxes. These are some of the smaller parts. It's this bubble wrap <laughs> making funny noises already. These are the feet. They look really nice manufactured. It's very smooth. And we're getting screws that apparently belong to the feet. Let's put aside the box. And I don't know if it's inside the image, we have a second box. I tilt down the camera a bit so you can see it more clearly. Another box inside the box. And inside this second box, there's a manual. I was fearing for a moment that there was no manual inside this. Yeah, but we get one. And sometimes people don't really like to read manuals. I guess in this case, you really want to have a look at the manual because especially in that first box I opened, there's a lot of single little parts. Yeah, so I really want to know how this, how that all belongs together. In this package, we also have the wiring power cable, the controller. This is probably the central electronics part. Oh, and these two are really heavy. These are the legs with the motors. And two more cables. One thing to note about the manual, the manual is purely in German. There is a QR code on the last page for an English version. It kind of makes sense that this is in German since the company Boho Office is apparently a German company and mainly targeting the German market. I was even thinking of making this video in German, but I thought maybe some international folks want to buy this desk, so it might also be interesting to just leave it in English. These are the legs very heavy. This side goes under the desktop itself. And the first step according to the manual is to mount these legs to the foots like this. By the way, this desk is also TÜV certified. TÜV is a German certification label, so this assures me that this product has been tested and can be considered safe, probably. I'm now unpacking all of these little bars. There are a total of eight of them and they are similar but not identical. So everything is labeled in the manual, but you really need to be careful not to mismatch them. Next step, I have mounted the legs to the feet with the motors and now these bars go to the back like this. The manual does state that you do need two people to assemble this. I'm trying it on my own right now, so I will see if that works out. But I do have a little bit of difficulty having to hold this with one hand and 
trying to grab the next thing with my other. This would definitely be more easy with two people. Now some time has passed since I started making this video and I've gone ahead and assembled the desk. I will provide you with some photos of the assembly. Basically if you can build any type of IKEA furniture you can probably also build a desk like this. This tabletop is not one of the Boho Office standard tabletops but it's a custom tabletop. So there were no pre-drilled holes in this. I had to drill them myself. So the process is maybe a little bit more complicated than IKEA furniture, but it's really doable. Coming to the quality of this desk, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. The desk is very sturdy. If I try to shake it, obviously you will see the monitor wobble, but you will get that with any desk. And the desk surface itself doesn't really wobble all too much. And I personally like to lean against the desk when I stand up. So I will lean against the desk, something like this. And doing that, I have no problems at all. The desk doesn't really move noticeably. Big plus. One reason I bought this desk frame specifically were the legs. And with this desk frame, the bigger parts are on the downside and the parts moving in are on the upside. This is making the desk more stable, at least that's from what I understand. With a lot of the cheap desk frames you can buy, it's the opposite way. So you get the bigger parts on the top and this makes the whole desk more wobbly. So that's one of the reasons I decided to buy this frame. The other reason was that this had good reviews on Amazon and I was a little bit worried maybe buying a desk from Amazon. I was worried about what the quality will be like but this is really good and I do not regret buying this at all and I can highly recommend it to anyone. A quick word about the wiring. You might be tempted to mount the control unit in between these brackets the manual, however, suggests to mount it behind the brackets, so away from the side you sit, to give you more clearance for your legs. And I decided to follow the manual and do it this way, even though it looks less clean. And I can highly recommend that you do it the same way, because this area really can interfere with your legs. So just do yourself a favor and mount it right here. Now I want to take a moment and quickly talk about the electronics and the control of this desk frame. The touch surface itself is smooth, so you get no distinction between the individual buttons. The buttons will vibrate a little bit when you touch them. However, there is a delay in touching and the action being invoked. So, for example, I have a lower position on button 1. If I touch it, As you could see, there was a slight delay in the desk actually invoking the action. The delay will be shorter once the desk has woken up, so to say. You get four banks where you can save individual heights and you can upper or lower with these two buttons, obviously. The desk does have features like collision detection. And it also has programmable features like uh, a window stop, so an upper limit, and a container stop, so a lower limit, that the desk will not extend above or beyond. These features are all described in the manual. However, there's an interesting feature that's not described in the manual, and I just found it in the question and answers on Amazon. Normally, you have to press and hold on this control to make the desk go to the desired height. So I cannot just simply tap it. However, you can set this, and I'm going to show you how. A hidden feature. So the way you do this is you press and hold S for 10 seconds. And once it starts blinking, you press the 1 button. Now it blinks. I'm pressing 1. And now I use the arrow keys to make this H0 go to H1. I press and hold S again. And now I don't need to press and hold, but the desk will just 
move by itself to the programmed height. I prefer, I prefer that a lot. Some people might, for safety reasons, prefer to have to press and hold. In a similar way, you can also switch between inches or centimeters on this desk. And you can also change the default height that it's showing on the display. This is a little bit weird because out of the box this desk came with a setting that equals zero with the legs fully collapsed. So it was actually at a height of, I don't know, let's say 60 centimeters. And that was displayed at zero. And then once you extend it, it will grow by the number of centimeters or inches. But you can change it to reflect the actual height. You just have to measure it and then set the height manually. Regarding carrying weight, I don't know what the exact maximum weight is for this desk, but as you can see, I can comfortably sit on this desk or even take a nap, even though it's not very comfortable. And that wraps up today's video. I hope this was helpful information for you. Press like if you liked the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!